good morning friend today our topic is gradation which is one of the important geometric process and that is need to understand how this process help to development of the landform and its evolution it was thorn valley In 1969, he has used this term gradation in place of the denudation. Gradation is a process that is of removing or filling up of vertical irregularities on the surface of the earth. That is removing or filling. up of vertical irregularities so gradation is leveling up or leveling down of the vertical irregularities of the surface of the earth there are several geomorphisms that helps to this process like river wave glacier wind underground water so these are the geomorphisms that are helping in this gradational process so when the surface is in generally called that gradient surface like erosion and deposition both are equal to this geomorphisms then it is known as a gradient surface another important characteristic of this gradient surface is that it is a temporary because the moment of any part emerges the erosion process become active so suppose there is a deposition in the same way the erosion process is also started so gradient surface becomes temporary in its conditions now thornbury divided this gradient surface into two important categories one is known as aggradation and second one is degradation so this great surface are divided into the two category one is the degradation and another one is the aggradation so aggradation what is aggradation there is a leveling up of the surface see for example the different geomorphisms are working here and they are deposited into the valley and leveling up of the surface this is an example of the aggradation whereas degradation that means leveling down of the surface
say for example, this is a surface, and the earliest days, the surface was like that. So this part has been eroded by the different geometric agents. So this is a degraded surface. So now things that the surfaces look like that. This is the graded surface. So in degradation, this part is divided into the is two more important category. One, this process is called uh, the static, and the mobile. These two process that uh, help to this degradation process, static like weather. So, for example, weather. Weathering that means there is a disintegration or decomposition of the rock in situ, which is a static process. There is a mo no movement of the particles is occurred. Where is mobile process? Here the it is caused by two process. One is erosion. Mass washing. In erosion, that is the process of scratching, scraping, grinding the surface of the rock. Very different, does it? And in mass washing, there is the falling down of the metal by the force of gravity. So, this process that we discussed. Are caused by the differential agent like river, wind, glaciers, sea wave, etc. These are the agents that is helping the degradation process. And the same process is also helping the aggregation process. And the material that are degraded by this process and deposited into the value and help into the aggregation process. So there is a close relationship between the gradation, degradation and aggregation. How? For example, the river is flowing in the mountainous regions. So when the river flowing through the mountains, its gradient is more steeper slope and high velocity. These factors help into the erosion of the mineral. But when it comes to the lower stage. It forms delta. It forms different types of deposition like flat plain. So these are the aggregation process. Here what happened? There is a degradation process. And in the mature state. Matures is what is happening there? The erosion and deposition are almost equal, and this force is known as the gradation. In this way, this gradation, degradation, and aggradation, these three processes are closely interrelated, and the geometric agent 
help us to this decrease in aggravation to comprises the graduation process thank you for watching this video please subscribe the video for the channel